competitive versus other players in this league. And uh, it's difficult to watch night in and night out. Uh, I've communicated uh, with the league often about this. And we're getting nowhere. And so at some point, we're just going to have to move on and win the game anyway, you know, find a way. Um, I just, you know, I, I, I'm in a position that I always feel like I need to fight for my players so that they don't have to. I want them to focus on playing. Uh, but obviously it led to a difficult situation. I, I missed, you know, I missed Rebecca's celebration with our crowd. Uh, I feel, you know, really badly about that. I told her, I said, you know, I, I like plan the party, <laughs> like and I didn't yeah, get to yeah. town type of thing. Uh, that that was tough. That was really really tough. And so I, I didn't feel very good, um, you know, about that part of it. But was really thrilled that our, you know, our assistant coaches, you know, kind of stuck together and 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 worked together to. Uh, and then I saw, I was able to watch the game from the locker room. I, I saw our players communicating and and just really staying connected. And, and that's what I really appreciated that we were able to handle that so well. So, yeah, and uh, Maya's had a very, as you mentioned earlier, Maya's had a really interesting season. She didn't seem to be quite herself early on, then she went on a surge where she was phenomenal, won two Player of the Week awards in a row, and then the last two games she has not seemed to be herself again. Yeah, and I, I, it's very different. Uh, the, the beginning of the season and, and now it's a very different situation. Um, you know, it, it, it was hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this is, this it'll be a more of a short-lived situation. Uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in constant contact with Maya. I understand exactly what's going on, and um, you know, just, just she'll get through this. And you know, the, the beginning of the season was different. Then, then I know that the maybe the results were the same, but I think the reasons for it are, are different. And uh, Maya will get her legs back under her. And uh, I think the key is, I've always said this: um, what types of shot is, is your player getting? Are they makeable shots? If they makeable shots, then let's look at the form. Let's look at you know body balance, that sort of thing. I'm pleased with uh, my shot selection. Uh, you know, your best player sometimes is going to maybe take harder shots than, than the average player. Uh, I don't even see her taking difficult shots. I thought all the shots she got last night were all shots within my my repertoire. Um, she just, you know, I think, you know, when you when, when she plays LA and she plays beer, there's another element there that's added. Um, you know, where she gets sped up a little bit. There was a little bit of that going on, and then I also think that. Uh, you know, Maya's kind of hit a rough patch in terms of the, the physical toll, um, you know, of carrying our team for, for those uh, uh, seven seven or so games. And so uh, I'm confident that Maya will be bouncing back very quickly. I talked to her last night, and she said she felt like she got the shots she wanted. She got shots she usually makes, and she just didn't make them. She said it was like an out-of-body experience. She just, you know, she just felt like she would miss a shot and she'd say, how did I miss that shot? That's my shot. So she didn't exactly. sound she didn't sound worried at all. She sounded like she just... Just had a bad game. Yeah, I, I would be worried if she wasn't getting good shots. Uh, I thought she had all the shots that she got in the stretch that she was, you know, phenomenal for us. Uh, she's still she's still getting those shots, and, and uh, you know, I mean, Maya's not gonna, you know, she's not gonna average twenty five. She's not gonna, you know, be, you know, fifty, sixty percent. You know, I mean, it's just it, this happens, and uh, uh, I, I share Maya's, um, you know, view on it, and I, I know that Maya, like I said, if she continues to get those shots, we're gonna be just fine. I know you have to get on the plane. If you have time, give us a kind of a state of the team address, uh, just given the fact that it's already been, you know, you've already had a lot happen in the season, but you won maybe your most important game last night. Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, we, we've won a lot of games. I think we're, what, 8 of 10 that we've won. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I think we really like where we are. We like, uh, we, we all, I think we all have our, our legs under us. I think we all have a really good idea of our identity, roles, that sort of thing. Um you know, I just, I loved the look in the eyes last night uh, in playing the game. I loved following the game. Um, just their, you know, hey, this is the journey this year. It's, you know, it's hard. Uh, you know, winning in this league is hard. I mean, us in L.A. have seven losses, and we're at the halfway point. We're over halfway point. Um, it's, it's hard for every team. So this is not just a Minnesota Lynx issue. This is hard for everybody. Uh, you know, Phoenix and, and Seattle are, I think they're sitting there where they have five losses. Uh, they're the best teams in the league. And so... Um, you know, I think that we're starting to kind of like embrace the idea, like this is a different journey, you know, and, and, but the thing is we can control our own destiny and that's what we want to continue to focus on. We don't want to look up and look around, uh, and pay attention to other scores. That's sort of thing. just, just focus on us. And, and I, and I like where we are mentally with that. Cheryl's off to Chicago. We'll probably try to do another show next week and leading up to our next live show, July 17th, 6 PM at free house. And the North Loop, check out freehousempls.com. Thanks to our other sponsors, Neil Olstad uh, from Lynx Dynasty Podcast, uh, Shelly Boyum-Breen with the Shelly Bean, the Sports Queen 
uh, series and Lynn Hall. Check out the Lynn Hall, L-Y-N-H-A-L-L dot com for the wisdom series and all of their uh, and all of their offerings. Uh, thanks for making time for us today. Cheryl, we'll see you when you get back. Sounds good. I want to say a special shout out and uh, thanks to our sponsors as well. It's so meaningful. I'm so appreciative of it. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, the Shelly Bean, uh, the sports queen, um, you know, what a, what a really cool thing. And if you have kids, you know, boys or girls, I think they're, they're great books. My son has, has a collection. And uh, special thanks to Neil, who's been so supportive uh, of, of the WNBA and the Minnesota Lynx. And then, of course, the Lynn Hall Freehouse. I uh, can't say enough thank yous to them all. All right. Well, have a good trip, Cheryl. We'll see you next week. Thank you.